How's it going, everybody? Um, today I'm going to talk about fitting a dual 120 radiator into a half 912. And I'm going to take my webcam off here, get this around the speaker. All right, so this is not the largest case in the world, as you can see. It's actually pretty small, and right now I've got two fans on top to do a push-pull and one fan on the back, but the fan on the back is actually going to be taken off, and the top one's going to be taken off too. I was just kind of messing around. Um, because, as you see, I have a nice little fan on the side. That's, I'm going to unplug that one actually. I'll unplug it with this. All right. So, the way I have it done is if you want to do what I did with this and actually put two on top so you do a push pull, you'd have to let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Dremel out a little hole between the grating because the honeycomb that has you can't put anything through there. But if you drill out one of the little crossbars, you can fit fan controllers through there. And then running this through a grommet in the back. Um, just a little overview of what I'm doing. Um, got the HX750 in there. This, you can see it. It's a Galaxy 660 Ti. I don't know if you can see the clear that is. And then an H100i and at 16 gigs of DDR3 1600 Corsair Dominator and those are some pretty beefy heat sinks so that says a lot about what you can do and now this might be a little difficult to see because of the lights but I'm hoping that brights up the inside of the case it was actually pretty difficult to fit this in here because if you look at the upper corner this oh sorry this right here where the IO shield is comes right up against the fans so what I did was cut down the corner of the fan basically just chopped it clean off uh, so there's no actual screw hole over there and then I also, this is kind of motherboard dependent too though, because like with my motherboard, the CPU power is up here, meaning that I had to shave some inside of the fan. But now these are, these are intaking air right now, so the air is coming down through the radiator and out, meaning that it fit, if I kind of, oops, if I kind of shaved the inside of the plastic a little bit so that it could get around the CPU power. Um, these are the fan obviously cords that come down through the top there. And then I just ran the so these these two fans are coming down plugging into motherboard um, three pin fan controllers. The other two are going through the Corsair link um, on the actual H100i itself. And the radiator is mounted obviously with the hoses on this side going across and it fits there no problem. Um, the only thing is obviously the fans are a little, a little tight. And I also had to shave off some inside of the fan right above the RAM so that the actual um, little knobs that pop open and close to hold the RAM in place uh, could fit. So I just saved enough room for all four of those. Now um, I'm about to get two more sticks. I'm actually selling probably the the Dominator. Um, and I have I have four more sticks of G-Skill Sniper 1866 that thing I'm going to put in there. Um, so that's that's basically how you can make it fit, even though it's got 
the it, it has the dual slot on top, the dual 120 millimeter, but it's really not made for a radiator. Um, it could be for a custom radiator, but if you want to do one of these all-in-one coolers, then it's really going to take take something like this. Um, it's really not difficult to do. You got a Dremel to make it work, um, or even before I got my Dremel. Which, because I couldn't actually find the one I had in my other house. Um, and I was using the stock fans. The, these are the fans that actually come with the H100 guy. Um, I just took a knife and sliced off this corner. Um, really crude. I'm going to clean that up with the Dremel. But, um, another thing to say, on this side, there isn't actually enough room to fit another fan on the back if you want. I mean, I did it back here. To exhaust the intake, because um, there's obviously the two intakes on the front, so I got two 120 millimeter. Um, these are Roswell um, blue LED fans, and six bucks, seven bucks a piece. Um, with a different motherboard. Now this this motherboard, especially this is a uh, ASRock Extreme Four motherboard. Let's see it right there. Uh, this is a it's a weird weird motherboard. Um, I've noticed it's a, its dimensions are a little off of what standard would be. So, um, especially with kind of the height stuff issues. But then again, if your IO shield is there, your but your your top is going to be pretty standard. So you're still going to have these issues with the bumping. But it is possible to make it work. Um, I think next thing I'm going to do with this case is cut the side window. Um, instead of hanging this fan here, I'll probably um, either leave the fan there and put like, a little open window on top, or I'm thinking I'm just going to cut out that area and then put put a window in there, maybe put another fan up here or something. But I do like the fan, fan there just because with this fan intaking air, it goes right onto the GPU. And you can cool it down quite a bit, so the overclock you can get on this card is actually really high to begin with. Let alone, you get that extra air going on there, so that's nice. If you've got any more questions or want to see anything more, um, let me know. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of modding on this case. I don't have actually any bays in here right now. You can see the front is just clean fans down there. So I don't know what I want to do. Um, I think what I'm probably going to end up doing eventually is um, taking this off and putting a custom water loop in here. Um, that is, of course, depending on what I can get for um, this card. Something I do like about the 660 Ti's, double fingers. Really happy about that. So I can step up to triple SLI or something like that. Um, that's what I got for you today. But let me know if you guys want to see anything else. My room's a mess. Sorry about that. Got parts and shit everywhere. Oh, this is my system. Let's see everybody.